breeze, but I tell you what, there's a bit of a breeze blowing in from the southwest, which is from where the rain comes in this part of the world. And uh, no, it wouldn't be a great surprise if we... Who are ahead of TS Sporting by one, who are ahead of Sekakune by two, who are ahead of Cape United and JDR Stars by one. That's our tragedies at the top of the table. The top six sides separated midweek. Very modest, very humble, and uh, really celebrating the successes he's had so far. And it really has been wonderful. Big smiles, jokes, and a tremendous, tremendous human being. Really sorry about the loss to the family. But it will come as the game continues. Mulugizi Maranti only playing in his eighth match of the season. He's seventh in the starting lineup. Kapela Maklasela leaving the ball behind for a moment, but Lassi tidied up by Nklele. This is an influential player. Sabonga Kong. First corner for Royal AM. The delivery comes off from Bata from Ayubelela um, Maxwele. Tia Sporting, the lead in the corner count by 2 to 1. And Bata, the most uh, diminutive player on the pitch, I fancy. Four corners to one. Header cleared off the line. Quality cross once again from the dead ball specialist. Rising very well to connect the ball with the header. That's Mbata. But again, mixed by Choke with his left. Look at Mbata. Just in swinger. A header. Joining in, but Maranti on top of the game, the goalkeeper making two quality saves to keep Tia Sporting into this game. If this is the game plan that Tia Sporting has to adopt for the second half, it's certainly going to be a situation where they start playing counter attack football. And I'll try and keep you up to Tams uh, with scores coming through from other venues that are important ones. Another shot from outside of the penalty area. Nice turn from Choke, and it's gone in. A speculative effort, not the best of power. From the 25 year old. That everything. Look at the long throws from Rada. That connection, unfortunately, but that touch is the touch from Chahuke. That was very crucial. Miss kicked from there, and then immediately that striker instinct, Kevin. It might have been a tiny deflection. Let's have a look at this again to see if there was any sort of deflection. It doesn't actually look like it. It looks like this outside all. of the place on the inside with Montolo. A little touch in there from Ogbonna. Doesn't reach Mao. And the clearance will come from the holding midfield. In fact, I think it was Mbata, Mbata who was doing the fetching and carrying now. No side flag here. If this uh, situation turns into a result. Mbata with a lovely ball through here. Mahamakate, wasteful. And he's pushed him back halfway inside of the half of Tier Sporting. Nice little bit of robbery there from Mbata as well.
Kekana. Barta waiting in the middle of the park and it still falls to Mbata. Still Mbata. Baran keeps to, to blend the colour. Kekana starting from deep in the midfield. It's been a nice ball through all the likes of uh, three state stars who have a match in hand and Jomo Cosmos, uh, big part Cape United who have a match in hand. They're lining up to have a shot here but there's good defence happening at the same time. Portia Sporting and uh, Ohizo. Couldn't find a way through. This is Mbata who's been impressive in the match so far. There's options to his left-hand side. Sides to yeah, a little bit of a boardroom shuffle at the end of the season. But technically, on points and matches played, without the boardroom coming into it, the sporting were technically cooler just yet. He said that there is a nice little breeze that's floating through our commentary box. Winani lose out to a challenge with Mabeba. Forward by Mbata. Lovely skills here shown. And he is sporting. But uh, as we said, uh, he was the man who scored the goal against Sekouni United on the 20th of February this year, two months ago. Look how strong in the challenge Dahula Bai is. You know, he's been around the South African football scene for absolute ages and he never ever disappoints. He's a tremendous owner once again. Pocket rocket and he's uh, earned that recognition today. As Mbata. With the visitors in Nyundu. He's found Mbata, he's twisting and turning away. Involved in, in, the, in the tackle. This is Mbata. The ball in towards Amoji, almost makes an immediate impact. And if you can locate him, well, he may just tack it away. Not to be this time though, he's freshly onto the field. He did everything well, it was unfortunate that he couldn't hit the target. Had he tried to That's good fight Lega gives the ball away to Nyundu. He finds Mbata. I'll squeeze through to Mbata again. They keep it going. Big chance here. Referee rules in favor of the attacking side. Penalty away. Just dangling out from a defender. Made sure that he couldn't get the shot away. There it is. Clear as day, I think. A legit penalty, but it started with Mbata. 1-2 with Camogelo Stole. That lunging tackle from Matt Donsela is the one that... With a, with a draw rather than the win. Tia Sporting, after conceding first, have never been able to turn a game. Yeah. 